Welcome in, folks, the Alabama Bass Trail 100 Series, the second stop of the season here on Lake Neely Henry out of Coosa Landing, Gaston, Alabama. Miss Kay, little different feeling in the air than what it was when we were here in February. You know, it's not 32 degrees, and we don't have current running at about 50 miles an hour down the lake. Um, we did get some rain, but I think that that's going to help things. Um, you know, we're looking at moderate temperatures today. I think the guys are really going to catch them. At June 4th, not as much humidity, a little more current later on that's supposed to pick up in the day. It should be a decent day for these guys. It should. You know, Neely Henry is always a very consistent lake for us. We did kind of throw the guys a, a curveball this year when we brought it here in February. Uh, but these guys are the best of the best. This is 100 teams of the best fishermen from north, south, east, and west, and they'll figure them out. All right, let's head out on the water and let's see who's catching them. All right, so we've just started the second stop of the Aldon Bass Trail 100 event here on Neely Henry in beautiful Gadsden, Alabama. And we got an early start this morning. We decided to follow Josh Butler and Randy Tolbert. This is our first stop. We're upriver a little ways in a backwater area, and this is what I expect a lot of teams to be doing, especially first thing this morning. Get in areas where you have the shoreline grass, guys are throwing buzz baits, popping frogs, some form of plastics or swimming jigs. These guys have had some bites. They got one keeper in the box already. We're gonna hang with them a little bit longer and see how they do. Good morning, guys. We made a run down South River with Wesley Sams and Jordan Wiggins. Already have one small fish in the box. Caught one up really quick on the grass bed when we first pulled up. Kind of sitting off Main River, fishing the grass. Do see lots of blow ups in the grass. So fish are very active down here this morning. Fish on, fish on, fish on. That's a short one there. We're with boat number 91. We've got Brian Adamson and Ryan Lloyd. And right now they currently have two fish for four pounds. And just a reminder, we are right next to the boat ramp. We have probably only driven like 50 seconds away from the boat ramp. So these guys are super, super close. And we saw this team pull next to the bridge this morning and start fishing. And so now they've kind of come down to this point that's on the end close to where the boat ramp is. and. They're fishing for that, that next three fish. The current depth we're in at the moment is about 20 feet, throwing up into about 15. And it looks like the water temperature is topping out at 79.8 right now. Looks at This looks like a better fish. This will sure be a keeper. We talk about culling methods a lot, and that's their first fish. He's not culling, but he's got a, he weighed that fish, and his scale will actually save that weight and number them. So he'll put a cull tag based on that number. And when they finally, after they've gotten their limit, they catch boat, or fish number six, then he can check his scale, and his scale will tell him which one that he needs to cull out. It just makes the culling process a lot quicker. Yeah, it looks like a giant. Let me, let me get the, let me get him. That's a good Alabama Bass Trail 100 Series is brought to you by Phoenix Boats, official boat of the Alabama Bass Trail, by American Bait Works, featuring bait fuel, and by America's First Credit Union. There's more to come. 
In 2009, it all started with this 721 Pro XP and a passion to build the best fishing platform in design, performance, and construction for all of our customers. Through the years, motors have changed, electronics have changed, but the passion to build the best bass boat possible has not changed. Everyone at Phoenix believes we got it right the first time. Field Petty Toyota is Alabama's number one volume Toyota dealer. But that's not the only reason to get to know Field Petty. Enjoy a 10 year unlimited warranty on every new Toyota in stock. Get one year of 24 7 roadside assistance. Test drive for the chance to win $5,000. You heard right, 5,000 big ones. Plus, choose from over 700 new Toyotas in stock and price to move. Field Petty Toyota is Alabama's number one volume Toyota dealer. Get to know us today. If you didn't already know, Amherst has great rates on auto loans, and boat loans, and motorcycle loans, and really any loans, including ones for your business. With a variety of terms as low as 2%, we're kind of hard to beat. scope i tell you right now if you don't have it you are behind it's just wild it's like a video game if you do not have that garment live scope you are definitely missing out bassmaster classic champion Luke Duncan, Trace Wendell, just now pulling up on these guys. They've just pulled into this area where we've been all morning. Hey, it's still early. How's it going so far? We've got two in the box. We missed a couple. Had a bunch of bites, but we got two in the box so far. What kind of size? Not much size yet, but we we waiting on that to show up we later. We have us about three pounds. Okay. Two for three. You got to start somewhere, though. We do, yeah. We got our butt kicked a little bit this morning for about 30 minutes, and we still kind of shaking our heads. Fighting strain on everything we were throwing. It was just short strikes on top, and two or three just get a swim jig really good and pull off immediately. Right. Now, you think this bite will continue throughout the day, or is it just certain times that seem better than others? You know, for us in practice, we can make it go all day. You just don't get the number of bites we got on one stretch this morning. Right. Um, that seems to go away, but you can still get good bites throughout right. the day. It's just not nearly as many as you get in that first hour, but I think it'll continue. Here, y'all got two fish in the box. Not really any size. Said y'all had a little late practice on Thursday, but y'all had a little bit of drive. Wisconsin and Kansas. Kentucky. Kentucky, sorry. Wisconsin and Kentucky. Thank y'all for fishing the ABT. We appreciate that. Thank you, bet. So what are you thinking is going on right here in this area? Well, what we got, we got the main channel swings not too far out here. You know, so we got that deep water, and then uh, there's a lot of bait fish in this area. So, you know, they're just up here. They're, they're sliding up, feeding, and then getting up in this grass. So I'm trying to catch up with a moving bait first, like a like a chatter bait, and then uh, flipping a little bit at the same time to try and pick up a few few of the sluggish bites. What's that mayfly hatch is going all day? I noticed that. I mean, it's pretty much a grass bed of mayfly up there. Just, I mean, really got started. It looked like. Yeah, yeah. I was knocking them out of the trees yesterday in practice, and then they come up and feed on them right quick. Yeah, a lot of times with the mayfly hatch, you ought to be able to catch them on top water. For That's right. I'm sure, sure somebody's finding them somewhere. All right, update guys. We are with boat number 30. We've got Lynn Johnson and Andrew Johnson, and they have three fish for eight pounds right now. And we are down river as of now.
fish on. Ooh. Two fish. When we saw you catch one keeper, what what do you have in the live well so far? Uh got one good one and then three babies. Okay. Is it slower than what you were expecting? Plan A, B, C, yeah. and D did not work. <laughs> Looks like maybe the water failed just a little bit. Yeah, I've heard that from some from, from someone else. So, and here six inches matters a whole lot. Yeah, this lake is so flat it makes a big difference. And we are on the arm himself, Mr. Lee Pitts. Lee, how many you got, buddy? Our strengths are flipping grass and flipping this shallow wood, and the fish just seem to be really scattered in it right now. Uh, not finding a whole lot of good bites. Even in practice, I didn't have a real good practice. You know, catching a lot of little fish, 10, 11 inches. Yeah. To get those good bites. So we got one that may go two and a half, three pounds, and then that four. We really got to start doing something to find a good bite. What kind of weight do you think guys are looking for today to win? I'm sure somebody will sit down on 20 pounds. Yeah. You know, I think if you can catch 13, 14, you probably get six. Yeah. 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 Alabama Bass Trail 100 Series is brought to you by Phoenix Boats, by America's First Credit Union, by TH Marine, FishAlabama.org, by Bill Penny Automotive, by American Baitworks, by Garmin, and by Big Bite Baits. Buying stale burnt coffee is like eating hot sushi out of a vending machine. It's just a no-no. An explosion. Cool guys don't look at them. As a veteran-owned and operated company, we take massive pride in giving back. And with your support, we've donated millions to charitable organizations and veterans. Do you have a lightsaber leg, Jay? Yeah, I got a lightsaber leg. When you sign up for our coffee club, you get fast free shipping directly to your door. I'm on a helicopter. taste of the South starts out here. However you roll into work, you can bring the flavor with Jack's Breakfast Catering. Huge scratch-made buttermilk biscuits and hearty breakfast sandwiches, mixed or matched, starting at just $15. Don't forget to add delicious fresh ground Royal Cup coffee and classic breakfast sides, because great work starts with great breakfast. Breakfast Catering, starting at $15 from Jack's. All about the South. Bring more than. Yep, 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 yep. All right, we 
And the last time I talked to y'all, we were doing the Academy Winner's Tackle Box because you had won at Jordan. Are you going to be able to duplicate that today? Not right now. Yeah, no. <laughs> what do you have so far? I'm guessing it's, that means it's tougher than you were expecting. No, not really. <laughs> let me get this water running here in a minute. Let me get a little bit better. Okay. We're in some backwaters, and we supposed to start it up at about 9 o'clock, so we decided to come out here and wait on it. Right. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm with boat number 52, Thomas Roach and Kevin Williams, and it looks like they have four fish for seven pounds right now. Got one. Oh. Ooh, another one. All right, we made our run down to good old Canoe Creek, pulling up on Mr. Wes Logan. Wes, any upgrading? Like 13 and a half, 14. 13 and a half, 14. Got a call too, he says. So what do you have in the live well now? Okay. Is that kind of what you expected based on practice? No. <laughs> Not at all. Uh, telling myself that I'm not going down lake. So I'm gonna go put docks down lake. Right. Yesterday, stupid up here. It's like everywhere you pull down, you put the grass, you frog it, you got bit. Wow. So it's completely shut down then. Yeah. A little update here with Chaplain Davis. Let's see what they got. It just caught one. Looks like they're culling small ones here. Culling one out. Putting the bigger one back in the box. Guys, we're calling. That's a good sign. It needs to be bigger than that. I know, but we're calling, right? Fish on, fish on. Short one. We're getting to the middle part of the day. Some of these teams have some fish. Some of them don't have what they're looking for. They know they can still make it happen. This, the last couple of hours of this tournament is going to be critical for a lot of these teams. A lot of pressure in these teams. There's only three tournaments in the Alabama Bass Trail 100. This is tournament number two. Guys that want to finish well in points, they have to do well here. Over my shoulder here, this is where weigh-ins are going to take place. We should have a really exciting weigh-in. Be a lot of fish brought in being weighed. Guys were expecting maybe close to 20 pounds or better to have to win this tournament. Seems to be kind of a tough tournament so far. Stay tuned. Check it out, we'll find out right here. The Alabama Bass Trail 100 Series, sponsored by Dill Penny Automotive, by FishAlabama.org, and by Phoenix Boats. Stay tuned for more. The TH Marine Hydrowave H2 KVD Edition is a surefire way to ignite a feeding frenzy. The Hydrowave utilizes a sound emitting technology that imitates bait fish and other feeding fish below the surface that preys on the competitive nature of bass and other game fish to get you more bites. The Hydra Wave is another way that TH Marine has you covered from transom to trolling motor. Research and development is more than just time in the shop for us. It's time out here. Sweating the details, making boats that work as well in the real world as they do on paper. From our R&D team to our anglers on the water, we have the knowledge and passion to build you the finest fishing platform in the world. Some things ain't worth keeping. Yesterday's traditions, today's adventures, tomorrow's memories. 
Now that's something worth keeping. Fish Alabama and find your keeper. For more information, visit fishalabama.org. For all the ways you love to play, Academy Sports and Outdoors makes it easier than ever to get what you need and have fun out there. Get free shipping on your favorite brands at academy.com or get free curbside or in-store pickup at your Academy store. got fortunate that we made the right call at the right time. We we had a plan. We talked to y'all about right. fishing grass, fishing grass, fishing grass. Well, yesterday, he and I kind of, would you say we argued about it a little bit? A little but, bit. But we went and found an offshore place that I had fished and he fished before and checked it. And we got three good bites. We went down there and started catching them as soon as we got down there. So the Starting out was pretty slow. We caught a few little bitty ones and then caught that big one around 9 o'clock and kind of got things turned around within the next two and a half, three hours. And, from then, from catching that big one on, I, I bet we caught 20 or 30 today and then caught a three pounder with like five minutes to go that called out a pound and a half or so. I don't think it's enough to win, but you know, we had a, a good tournament. Uh, we caught a good one early. We, we knew we were around some big ones early and actually had a couple that just didn't get the bait. One we saw that was probably another four pounder and we thought we pretty much blew the day. We caught one four pounder early and then just caught one about an hour and a half ago. Um, just grinded all day and just Cold up, just kept calling. Matt Green, Jacob Walker, five fish today, five alive. Good day, 1355, guys. Hey, it's better than sticking the eye. <laughs> it's better than we thought we were going to do. Better than sticking the eye. How'd you catch them today? We ran about 50 gallons of gas running up and down this place and throwing about every rock we could. Brand new Mountain Dew Big Bass, 513 on that fish. Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen. Your leaders were 14.99, not in the more 15.81 on the lead. Nicely done. Our day was a grind. We uh, started out deep and came back shallow, and we threw the kitchen sink at them today. But we caught one on this, one on that, and grinded and grinded, and didn't go five miles either way, and caught a good bag of fish. I, I mean, it was a good day. We caught a lot of fish early, uh, like mid morning, 9, 10, 11 o'clock. It really died, and uh, we went for a couple hour period there. We didn't catch anything, and then about 11, 30, 12 o'clock, it fired back up again. We caught a few more. Uh, we caught one big one late that really helped. Uh, we had a still had a two pounder that we'd like to have got rid of, but uh, all in all, it was a pretty good day. It was a uh, it was fun. Like I said, we ended up catching a lot of fish, a lot of numbers, uh, and caught them kind of the way we had fun doing. So uh, it, it was a, it was a good day for us. Well, well, it was tough. We needed to get rid of one or two more, and would have been all right. But uh, unfortunately, it didn't happen. Is it going to happen today? No. No, he says. Five fish, five alive. Second place, 1668. Chris, tell us how your day went. Uh, it was all right. It was a little tough. We didn't catch a lot of fish. We caught maybe nine or ten fish, but uh, it was tough. Now, when you weighed in, you seemed a little bit, you know, discouraged, like you didn't do very good. But after you weighed in at this moment, yeah. you're sitting in second place. <laughs> so it's a little better than you thought, maybe. Well, it is, and it's not. Um, you always, when you got three big ones like we had, you always have a chance to win. <laughs> and unfortunately, we didn't get rid of the two other ones. We had two that went about a pound and a half a piece. We'd have got rid of either one of those, we'd have had a chance to win. For a team of uh, David Payer and Jimmy Mason, guys just weighed in 16.29 pounds. Tell us how your day went. You know, it was slow starting, uh, caught two or three, and then toward the middle part of the day, we caught a catch, started catching them better, and I caught most of them swimming at jig. Did you make any adjustments to get better bites, or did it just turn on? Change color. You know, I went to a black and blue and, and a, a dark green pumpkin, and, you know, instead of the shad color. All right, Miss Gay, second stop, Alabama Bass Trail 100 Series. Been a little while since we've had one. Neely Henry, 
Jade Keaton, Adam Brown, 17-23 for the win. We're standing on their boat. I don't see a graph. There's more than one jack plate. I mean, great day on the water. It is. You know, it's been five months since we had one of these. We may get a little rusty, but these guys didn't. I mean, 17 pounds, first part of June. You know, an unseasonably cool morning for us in June. And um, this guy's won here before, so he was kind of on our radar, but they had a great day. Adam, you talked about one to have 18 pounds, 17, 23. You scared it. It's enough for the win. $25,000, dude. Yeah, that's awesome. It's, uh, it's definitely one Jade and I look to put on our calendar to try to win, so it, it worked out. And, Jade, you talked about on stage before we wrapped up live about, uh, you know, patience. Being being patient on this deal and staying with with, with the routine with the game plan. Yeah, and that, that was huge for us. Like I said, we we had talked about it all morning. We thought maybe it was time to leave. You know, by nine or ten o'clock, things had kind of calmed down, and we thought, well, let's you know let's take a chance. You know, leave, try to come down here. You know, down the lake and get a, a bigger largemouth bite. And we talked about it, and Adam made the call, and it was a good one just to stay put. And, and like I said, that patience really paid off. 17 23 for the win, $25,000. And uh, now we move on to Pickwick for you guys here later on in November. But Alabama North Division heads to Gunnersville for their final event of the year next week on Lake Gunnersville. Congratulations on the win. Folks, thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week on Bally Sports Southeast.